Well, Conchita Martinez knows exactly what it takes to become Wimbledon champion. 1994, Conchita, great to have you back. And what a successful day for Garbin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a very successful day. She played a really um, solid match. Unbelievable. And, yeah, you know, she's in the final, so I'm sure it's going to be a great final. Were you in the camp a little bit wary of Rebarikova, especially after she beat Pliskova in the second round, who, who is now world number one? I mean, for someone who's ranked 87th in the world, she has had a fantastic run to the semi-finals, and she had nothing to lose against Muguruza. Yeah, and she's a very different uh, type of player, you know. You know, she's going to slice, you know, she's going to drop shot, you know, she's going to change pace. So uh, Garbine knew all of that. Uh, she was ready for the match, and I think uh, she did an unbelievable job out there to, you know, to just play point by point, so that's important. How have you enjoyed the fortnight working with her? Because as far as the public are concerned, especially here in Britain, people really like uh, Garbinia, the way she plays the game, the way she conducts herself off court. Considering she hasn't been coming here for many years, she's really popular with the crowds. Yeah, she's popular with the crowds. And not only here, I think uh, you're right. You know, she uh, has a great presence uh, in the court. She has a great game. And, you know, obviously, you know, that's great for, for tennis. Looking ahead to the final then, actually uh, Venus is aiming to become the oldest, uh, well, the oldest woman in the final, well, now she's the oldest woman in the final since Martina when she played you in 94. So you know exactly what it takes to beat someone who's arriving with enormous amounts of experience. Well, she, she does feel comfortable here playing on grass, Venus. And, uh, but Garbine is playing unbelievable, so, you know, um, more than thinking of what Venus is going to do, you know, I think Garbine has to focus on her own game and try to do her best. And presumably, you know, in the lead-up to the final, you'll be reminding her, listen, OK, you haven't won Wimbledon five times, you haven't won the US Open twice, as Venus has, but you are a Grand Slam champion on the clay, so she knows that she can go all the way and win these slams. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, it's uh, her second final here. Uh, you know, like you said, she won uh, the French Open, so it's not a, you know, it's, it's not a casualty that she's in the final, and she has a great chance of winning this, so hopefully she can do it. And what's it like uh, sitting in the box of a player as opposed to being the one on court living with the pressure because now you have experience of both? Yeah, uh, nerve-wracking. It is nerve-wracking. So, but, you know, it's, it's great to see your player do what you practice and, you know, it's good to see your player win. Well, great to talk to you today and uh, all the best to her for the final. It's going to be a great occasion. Thank you. Thank you.